If your goal is to shoot the puck like Connor Bedard, the key is developing insane forearm strength. You combine that with perfect mechanics and you will be blasting the puck. So let's break this down and then I'll show you a drill at the end of the video to strengthen your forearms like Connor Bedard. So here's what you want to pay attention to. So right now, you can see his wrist is pretty straight, pretty neutral. Now when he steps here, what happens is, is that his wrist goes like this and bends down. His palm is facing up and his wrist bends downward. This is his palm on this side facing up. And this is the back of his hand here. So what you'll notice as he does this is now, as he moves his hand, as he starts to load up the shot, and I mean, this is not just common to Bedard, but it extends, and then he goes right here, and right now, that wrist is flexed in. So keep watching, because I'm gonna explain and two exercises you can do to work on flexion and extension. So right now, see how his palm is here, and the back of his hand is here? Where before, it was the opposite. It was his hand was here, his palm was out facing this way, and his back of his hand was here. So what this really means is that you wanna strengthen your ability to flex and extend your wrist. If you can strengthen those two movements, it's gonna give you a massive, massive advantage when you go to shoot, because you see here, it's flexed, there's a stretch going on right here with his wrist, and then as he shoots the puck, that extension, or that flexion, you can see now it goes here, it stretches, and he has to have that ability right here to create that tension in his wrist because you don't just want to keep your wrist completely loose and let it bend all the way in. It needs to stay strong and be able to press this direction out. So I know this is a little bit complicated and I'll, again, I'm going to simplify it down for you. But here you can see, so it's it flexes and then at the end, you can actually see it there. Notice how it tightens in and pulls. So there's a stretch and then he forces that rotation. So he's really doing this and really rotating his hand. But what that really is, is just a flexion of his hand. His hand is tightening and rolling really tightly. So you can do rotators, which is something I explained in another video, but what you also want to be able to do is flexion and extension. So let's watch that clip. Now here's the drill we want to use to strengthen it. So this is forearm flexion. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm extending and letting the bar roll down, just using a dumbbell, and I'm letting it roll, and then I'm flexing my wrist up. I'm keeping my hand supinated, or you could imagine like you're holding something in your hand, your palms facing up. And you just wanna do enough reps that you get fatigued, but not to complete failure, and then switch sides. So you wanna make sure you pick a weight that actually fits your strength. Don't just like do a super, super heavy set, then you're gonna cause problems for your forearms. So take your time, and what you'll learn is that oftentimes you have a weaker hand. I broke my top hand wrist, my top left wrist, so it's a lot weaker. Develop the strength, in this hand and you will be able to shoot the puck so, so powerfully. And now for this drill, we wanna do the opposite of flexion. We wanna extend our wrist. So I like to do it like this. You can change the way your upper body's positioned, but ultimately you just wanna strengthen that top part of the forearm. It goes into combining to create a super strong flexion and extension, which is used in your shot. So combine these two exercises together, and this will help you shoot like Connor Bedard. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let me know what type of video you'd like to see next. And if you're a high-level hockey player who has the skill set, but the mental game just seems to be holding you back, then you may want to check out the Next Level Academy. I built it for players from 14 and up, specifically designed to help you get to the next level of your game by mastering your mental game and then your skill development. So here's what the course looks like. So we got beliefs, mindset, targets and systems, unwiring, installing a new identity, identity sense and skill development. We also have weekly coaching calls, which we do with the group. We have a community of players all working together that's growing every single week. 
We all support each other, all working together to figure out how to get to the next level. So this is an awesome, awesome program. And check out the link in the bio if you guys want to. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.